Only on Fox tonight, answers to a Music City mystery. The Allegheny County, Virginia Sheriff's Department says Melissa Grant vanished without a trace at the Greyhound Station here in Nashville on Saturday. But get this, investigators found out today first responders found her in the very same place. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez live downtown right now to break down her unusual disappearance as well as the discovery. Eric. Well, tonight, investigators say the mystery begins and ends here at the Greyhound bus station downtown, but it still took four days to close this case. It started with a cross-country trip on a big rig. Between Grant and the truck driver she was dating, the couple started in Virginia and headed west. Investigators say at some point on Saturday, the couple got into an argument while driving through Middle Tennessee. She got out the vehicle. She ended up at the Greyhound bus station in Nashville, Tennessee. That's the voice of Captain Walter Nicely of the Allegheny County Sheriff's Department, which put up these online flyers after Grant's mother reported her missing Monday morning. She hadn't heard nothing from her since Saturday. Now here's where the story takes its first twist. Grant's family reported she was here at the Greyhound bus station when she called to say she was trying to get back to Virginia. Instead, she vanished. At least that's how it seemed. They located Melissa at the uh, Greyhound bus station. Captain Nicely says Grant suffered a seizure at the bus station and first responders took her to the hospital. For days, Grant's family worried and wondered why she never arrived and why she never called. You pray. You just sit back and try to push your worst fears out of your mind. I spoke to Grant's friend Crystal DeMumbrian on the phone. She told me she spent days calling police, the morgues, even checking obituaries from her home in Virginia. You of the stuff happening and you never get family members and friends back. Wednesday morning, Grant came to and was finally able to tell friends and family she was alive and well. It was just such a relief and I cried like a baby. Now, DeMumbrian says because of the seizure, Grant was not able to tell doctors a whole lot, at least not until today. Now, DeMumbrian also says she hopes Grant will be well enough to travel as early as tomorrow. Reporting live downtown, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.